Diaries. My name is Shandell and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So I just want to say hello to all the subscribers. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you guys are liking these videos, I would love for you to like, comment, share. Your support just means the world to me. And you know, the message that I've been thinking about uh, and really meditating on and, and seeking God out is our strength comes from the Lord and we serve a mighty God and he's given us the word of God, which is power, which is a uh, fire, which is, is alive. The Bible, there's so many scriptures in here that if you speak them over your life, your life will transform that we would get strength from the Lord. Um, and we just, the gospel, there is power in the gospel. There's power in the word of God. And, and if you're going through it, maybe somebody has been talking about you. Maybe you've lost some friends. Maybe you're grieving somebody. Maybe you are dealing with um, poverty right now, or you're dealing with financial burdens. If you're dealing with addictions, if you've lost somebody, if you're in a grieving time, if you feel uh, like you've isolated, I just want you to, I want you to pray with me. And as I was going through the word of God uh, this week, there's a scripture that just grabbed my heart that just held on to me. And I feel like, you know, if you ever get punched by a scripture of just love and just overwhelming, um, uh, just love from God and it's Psalms, uh, 18, uh, one through three, it says, I love you. O Lord, my strength, the Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength in him in whom I will trust the shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. And I love that scripture because he is our rock. He is our strength. He is our fortress. He is our deliverer. And we trust in God and he will be our shield, our horn of our salvation, our stronghold. And he is worthy of all the praise. He is worthy of all the glory. He is worthy of all the honor. Um, and he shall save us from our enemies. He shall save us from the enemy. And so no matter what you're going through, I want you to be strengthened today by the word of God. Declare Declare Psalms 18, one through three over your life. Make it personal and say it out loud and watch your mindset change. Watch your life change. And, and the more you press into God, the more you find strength in the word of God, the more you find guidance and, and, and not only finding these things in the word of God, but digesting them, allowing the word of God to become your life, to let it transform you, to let it just renew your mind and stand on the word of God. It never comes back void. It never comes back fail. Uh, it never fails. And the more you press in and the more you, uh, you read the word of God and declare it over your life, you will be strengthened. You will be, um, you will be, uh, just uh, your whole life will change. And I know that because my life went from darkness. My life went from addiction, not having a relationship with God. And I began to eat the word of God. I began to digest it and allow it to transform my life. And my life is not the same. It is not the same as it was. And it's just transforming every single day. I'm not perfect, but my life is transforming from the word of God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a big God. The gospel is power. The gospel is fire. The word of God is alive and living. And when you apply it to your life and you read it and it transforms you, your life is going to change. And it's so amazing. So um, I just want you to pray with me. And if you are feeling stuck, if you are feeling discouraged, if you're going through it and you need strength today, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we lift up our, our lives to you. We lift up our hearts to you. And I thank you, Father, that you are our strength, that you are our strength, that you are our shield and your, our fortress and a God that we can trust that is alive and living, that, um, is worthy of all the praise, who is worthy of all the honor and glory, Father. I just lift up every heart, every mind to you, Father. I pray, Lord God, that you would strengthen them today, Lord God, that you would strengthen them, that you would renew them physically, mentally, and emotionally, uh, and spiritually, Lord God. If anybody is dealing with lack, we just break that now in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray a blessing over their life, Father. I pray for the ones that are pushing in, Lord God, that you continue to strengthen them, Father. If anybody is grieving, and if anybody is dealing with anything, any anything right now, Father. I pray uh, uh, just the joy and peace that surpasses understanding. I pray, Lord God, that there would be a shift, a supernatural turnaround in their life, Father. And I just thank you for that, Lord. And I give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, Father. I just pray, Lord God, that you strengthen them, that you fill them today, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
All right. Well, if you guys have any more prayer requests, if you need any more prayer requests, just leave them in the comments um, and let me know and I'll pray for you. And I encourage you, if you are needing strength, if you are needing strength and, and just to be uh, spiritually strengthened, I just encourage you to read Psalms 18, 1 through 3 over your life and declare it and, and make a special time for God today. And he's going to touch you. I believe that. Um, all right. Well, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next Sunday. Take care.